When we were looking for somebody to to support, I'll give this child money here to her. Um, Anne and Isa uh, discussed it with John, myself, and they came up and said the Irish Heart Foundation. Uh, so we were delighted. It was their choice, um, and it is a great charity. So on behalf of uh, the Irish Heart Foundation, I have uh, Anne Reardon here who, who will say a few words and explain how, where the money we will raise today is going to go and how it will help us, okay? Give Anne a big round of applause. Thank you, Mr. Captain, um, John O'Reilly and Mike um, for all the hard work you've done. Um, I know you've been working on this for a long time now and you've done an absolutely fantastic um, job of putting Fabulous Golf Classic together. Um, I just want to compliment you all on your Fabulous Clubhouse and the course looks wonderful as well. It's my first visit here um, and it won't be my last. But um, I just want to say to Anne Lita, um, Thank you so much for nominating the Irish Heart Foundation as the charity for this event. I think it's a wonderful tribute um, to your husband and dad and um, that so many people supported the event. And, um, you know, I'm sure his memory will live on, you know, um, with everybody here. But um, just to say, I suppose the Irish Heart Foundation, look, more people die from heart disease than anything else in Ireland, unfortunately. I think 476 people died in Limerick alone last year. And the reason that the Irish Heart Foundation exists, we were set up about 47 years ago, is that we know that there's enough that we can do to prevent sudden cardiac death um, and death and disability from heart disease and stroke in general. Um, they're the obvious things, you know, go to your GP, get the blood pressure and cholesterol checked. Don't drink too much, I'm the boring one. Don't smoke. Try to eat the right foods and get a bit of exercise in and watching the stress levels, they're all things that we can do in our daily lives um, to look after ourselves. And I suppose we're in schools, we're in workplace, we're in the community trying to educate people as best we can, supporting work that's been done by the Department for he of Health and that, and we're doing our very best. But like, you know, I suppose over the last few years now we've done a huge amount of work um, in the whole area of stroke, and you're all familiar with the FAST campaign at this stage, I'm sure. But we know, like, there are two and a half thousand people dying from stroke every year for a long time. And um, that number's gone down to about 2,000. We know about 500 lives are being saved each year now because people are recognizing the symptoms of stroke and treating them um, as medical emergencies. So that's worked very well. And on that note, I suppose 5,000 people die of sudden cardiac death every year. We know you won't save every life. But we do know that by performing CPR, you double the person's chance of survival. So we're trying to roll out a major CPR awareness campaign um, by the end of the year. And look, as I say, you're not going to save every life, but just by trying something, you might just help somebody. Um, and it's great, you know, there are defibrillators in a lot of communities. Um, I know there are defibrillators in the golf club, there is brilliant. But for every minute you're waiting for the defibrillator to arrive, the person's chance of survival decreases by 10%. So it's so important to start decompre or start, to start compressions. So I'm just going to just explain that to you very quickly as I'm here and you've all done so much work um, to make such a success out of this golf classic. If you come across somebody who isn't breathing after you've called for help, just by putting the heel of one hand on top of the heel of the other hand and pressing hard and fast in the center of the person's chest Okay, you're just keeping oxygenated blood flowing to the vital organs and you might keep the person viable until help arrives. I brought along pins. I believe somebody was trying to sell them to you. You were all supposed to get one for free. Um, but there's a, an Irish Heart Foundation pin for everybody here. And the, those instructions are just on the back. It's a very simple message. But, um, you know, that's something you might take away with you anyway. Um, so, look, the money is going to campaigns like that, ones that we know will work. It helps pay for a helpline, it helps pay for all the information and the research that's going on, that's been carried out on an ongoing basis. So um, we really appreciate it. We're fully funded by public donations, so every cent we get in really makes a difference. And I just want to thank you all so much for your support. Thank you very much. Thank you.